All right, this is the start to one of my most favorite trails in all of Colorado. It's a pretty pretty bumpy 4x4 trail, so we'll get some video of it. And this is a great place to fish, so we're going to go up here and hang out for a couple days. And um, I want to work on my truck. I've got a bunch of upgrades I'll be doing um, over the next month to it. And so we'll go over that when I get up to the campsite. And then also, too, uh, I haven't shaved for a decade. So this beard is coming off today. Uh, I'm working with the uh, company Harry's, the the um, shaving men's shaving company men's grooming company and uh what what i told him was i was like hey let me do this thing to where i'll, I'll shave for the first time in 10 years so we'll get to see what this face looks like without a bunch of hair on it and i remember last time i shaved i remember thinking that i had a real pointy chin so we'll have to see what that looks like but let's get on the trail head on up and uh let's get there and start fishing because the barometric pressure is going to spike here shortly and the conditions will be awesome for trout So here's one of the signs that I put up when I was we're here with Merrill and it was uh, myself, Jeff Shirley, professional photographer, Alan Crater, uh, he owns a marketing company, and then myself and then Baron Link and uh, oh and then James, I forget James's last name, he's the ranger from the Forest Service that was up here with us. But uh, it was fun, it was nice to be up here for the day hanging out. I just love the scenery around here, I mean this is a, a huge cirque goes all the way from there all the way around to there and then that's um oh gosh I forget the name of that peak I'll have to look it up I forget but um you can hike to the top of that and then go all along this this trail and this is called the humpback right here like the, the whale's back right there it goes down so there's a trail that goes on along the only thing is that rock is really sketchy up along the ridge so you got to be careful with your footing I forgot my sunglasses, so I'm like blinded right now. I was, so, I was so anxious to get up here. I was packing up my stuff and forgot that. Whew. All right, we came down to the lower pond. I want to fish this part right here where the stream comes in because there's all these little fish that park right here. Um, the upper pond, I got skunked just because I think I scared him away. I was using a larger uh, boot head initially, throwing it in there, and I think like the noise of it going boom, I uh, scared him off. And so that's kind of typical of that, that particular spot. If you go to the main feeder stream that's just passed out a little bit, it's really good fishing. So anyway, we're going to park it right here for a little bit and, and fish and see what we can get. Let's check out the color. So that's what brook trout look like. You can always tell brook trout because they got these really cool pink dots on them. And then they've got this, this orange underbelly with these fins that have brown or black and white tips on them. And so I, I literally think these are like the clownfish of fresh water. They're just so awesome. So we're gonna put this little fella back. we go and the smallest fish of the day this little fella right here look at him isn't he cute look at that little guy and that's the smallest fish I've caught today so we're gonna put him on back and we're gonna head back down to the truck go camp in a different spot this evening I thought I'd be able to get reception up here with my booster and I'm able to get a little bit of download speed but I can't upload at all and I've got a bunch of video work to do so um, let's head on down to the truck and head to a new area, get set up for the night, and then I'll, I'll have to record those videos tomorrow because I don't think there's enough time left in the day. So let's head on out.
This wind today is just nuts. It's been just raging ever since about 9 a.m. Uh, we got our breakfast done, me and Sierra, and then right after that, it's just we've been hunkered down in the, in the topper all day. But I want to get this shave done because I, I want to get this just taken care of. And I'm thinking first I'm going to just trim everything up with clippers, then I'm going to come back in and use the razors and the shave package that Harry sent me. So I'm going to do that real quick, and then we're going to hop back in. We're going to dive into this package. Packaging is awesome on this. It's, it's cool. You open it up. And it says in the interior of the box here, it says, your shaving, let's see if you can, it says your, your, shave, your shave supplies have arrived, enjoy. And then there's like a personal note in here from the owners, from Andy and Jeff, which is really cool. And everything's packaged up real nice. It's just like, you know, herein lies your, your shaving supplies. It talks about when you're running low, how to re re order more. And then it comes with all these razors here. Let's see here. Got instructions on how to do the blade, all that good stuff. Got a little shaving gel here. Let's see, what does this look like? Okay, so you pull it out here. Ooh, fancy. Oh, wow, that's nice. It feels nice. It's weighted good. Like I said, I've never had a fancy razor before, so this is my first time, so that feels real nice. All right, just about ready to get this shave on. Uh, it's kind of nice. Harry's included some of the tips on how to do a smooth shave, which is good for me because I haven't shaved in forever. And so talks about what you do to make sure that your shave is solid. But the, the razor here is really solid. I like the way it's weighted. It's got a really nice handle to it. And I'm just getting ready to get my first shave on here. So I'm going to use, I can't find my, my, um, my mirror. So I've got to use the FaceTime on my computer. So I think I'm going to look like a little kid when I'm done here. So <laughs> let's get this going and see what it looks like. That's nice and smooth. Problem that I have is I have a really coarse beard. And so back in the, the reason why I always hated shaving was because it, it, it actually would hurt. And so this feels good. I forgot how good shaving feels on your face. I gotta say, like using a nice razor makes a huge difference when you're shaving. I'm a fan now. I might actually shave more in the future. Gotta admit that feels pretty good. That weighted razor feels nice. The ones that I always used were the, were the real cheap plastic ones, like the disposable kind. And those I'm quickly realizing now that I basically punished myself in the past by not invested in a quality razor. Gosh, people won't even recognize me now. I'll be all incognito when I go into town. Be like, man, I wonder where that Brian guy's at. I'm like, I don't know, man. I heard he went to New Mexico. <laughs> I made this little little shaving station in here because it's too windy outside. There's no way I was gonna be able to do this outside. It's way too windy today. But you gotta admit, I, I, it feels great. Like having a shave with a razor that's actually, it's actually a quality razor instead of those disposable ones. This, this feels awesome. Just gotta get this thing cleaned out here, but uh, I'd recommend this. I mean, for anybody who's looking for a good shave, definitely invest in these. And this is Harry's, so I'll, I've got the link in the video description below. But uh, look them up. It's really affordable, and this is this is quality stuff. It, like I said, I got a really coarse beard, and this just did no problem as far as it, there wasn't any pulling or anything that like you would normally get with like a cheap razor. So it's uh, nice and sharp. They're flexible, they contoured in my face, which was good. I'm impressed. Like I said, I've never used a quality razor before. And so first time using one and I'm thoroughly impressed because I used to always have problems with my face being getting irritated every time I shave. And now it just feels nice. There's no hot spots on my face. It actually feels nice and cool everywhere. So I'm impressed, Aries. Got a good razor here. I'm a fan. <laughs> 